So on page 100, sorry, 135 in your book, you can see that um, we also have the passive with get. And the passive with get um, functions very similarly to the passive voice with the be verb. Uh, the only difference is instead of using the be verb, we change um, the be verb to this to get in the same tense. And so here um, on page 135, you see um, the people elected him because of his position on environmental protection. Him is the object pronoun. It's the object of this verb. And the act, the people who did the action here, the people, is the active voice. So this first voice, uh, this first sentence is active. These two sentences are passive. And the first one we see, we, we have the be verb. And so we have in the simple past elected. And we make him the object. We make that the subject, but we don't use the object pronoun. We use the subject pronoun, he. Simple past, because this is the simple past. The be verb, he was elected by the people uh, because of his position on environmental protection. Or we can use um, get as in, in replace of the be verb, but again, still in the simple past. So get, got, gotten, simple past, got. He got elected by the people. And then we see the same thing here. Here's an active voice. I hope Congress and the president pass the bill. The bill is the object of the verb. And so here, I hope the bill protecting whales is passed, okay? Um, that one's a little more complicated because we have a couple of, of verbs going on here. I hope Congress and the president pass the bill protecting whales. So here we still see that we start the sentence with I hope, and then we move to a passive use um, with the second sub subject in that sentence. Okay. So I hope the bill protecting whales is passed, or I hope the bill protecting whales gets passed, and then by Congress and the president. All right, any questions on the form and the function of the passive voice with either the be verb or with get? Now we're gonna practice this a little bit more tomorrow. I just wanted to introduce the grammar um, lesson to you today. For future tense? Yes, absolutely. So the again, the passive voice can be used in any verb tense. By, uh, by English lover, uh, sometimes use the um, possible was the person the future the the use the continuum verb. Yep. Yeah. So again, and this is on Blackboard. This is from uh, this packet that I open up the passive voice created by Ryan Rowling. Of course, I borrowed a lot of material for this, and there's a chart on page six in, in this one, and I got it from this website right here. Um, but you can see, um, well, actually two charts. Let me use this one on, on page six. Um, here we have the simple present in active and passive voice. So Rita writes a letter. Passive, a letter is written by Rita. Uh, in the future, Rita will write a letter here. A letter will be, because after a, a modal verb, we always use the base verb of the, the base verb, will be written by Rita. So this chart shows you 
all of the different verb tenses with the passive voice. So please take a few minutes um, later today, if, if this is confusing to you, to, to review this uh, packet that I put in, in Blackboard. And we'll do a little bit of practice with this tomorrow.